Recently, we have had a number of viewers ask us about diabetes mellitus and the accompanying complication of diabetic peripheral neuropathy, a very painful condition, which affects the nerves in your body, generally the longest nerves that reach your feet. We decided to do this very short video on diabetes mellitus. Type 2 diabetes, or high blood sugar, is fast becoming one of the most horrible illnesses in America, and it's largely preventable. If you have type 2 diabetes mellitus, chances are extremely good that your doctor is going to recommend weight loss. The condition of diabetes mellitus is caused by your pancreas creating insulin but your body having an inability to actually absorb that insulin. The more fat you have on your body, the higher your insulin resistance. This often results in some very serious extenuated problems. If you have DPN, or diabetic peripheral neuropathy, caused by type 2 diabetes, this information might improve your condition quite dramatically. This is not a substitute for your medication, nor is it meant to supersede the advice of your own physician or neurologist. It is an adjunct treatment that we've had positive results with in limited patient trials. But the results have been absolutely outstanding. DPN, or diabetic peripheral neuropathy, is a condition that often goes unnoticed until symptoms become quite uncomfortable or even painful. What could be mistaken for a foot falling asleep might actually be an early onset or warning sign of diabetes. Diabetes, put simply, is high blood sugar. And high blood sugar has some very serious systemic effects. We are limiting the focus of this video to just the condition of neuropathy caused by diabetes type 2. High blood sugar has a very pronounced effect on your nerves. It actually strips the myelin off of your nerves, causing false or even amplified sensations of pain, hot or cold. Some patients refer to it as burning in their toes, or a pins and needles feeling or numbness and buzzing. The myelin, or insulation, is like the rubber around an electrical cord, shielding the internal wire, the nerve conduit. There are differing opinions on whether the myelin shielding can actually regenerate. While the determination on regeneration is still out with the jury, these guidelines have been shown to reverse DPN in our test subjects. Your doctor can provide the best treatment, but these health modifications are a very potent remedy for treating and reversing very painful DPN. Since everybody's body is entirely different, the very first place you start is with your own doctor. He or she can provide the very best treatment and management of your personal condition. These very simple steps can provide a very effective reduction of painful DPN. The first thing that you need to do is get your blood glucose level under control. And in order to do this effectively, you'll need to make some dietary changes, as well as some changes in your habits of exercise and bodily maintenance. Nearly all patients who have diabetes type 2 are overweight, which causes problems. So diet and exercise are absolutely crucial. Exercise is a primary way of reversing your condition and the DPN. Visit your doctor to evaluate your health before beginning. Here are some general guidelines that can get you on your way. The importance of exercise cannot be overstated nor can the benefits of eating well. A healthful diet is great for your body, obviously, but in terms of the treatment of disease, it's one of the most crucial steps. 
Not only is eating the right foods enormously important, but also the intervals at which you do eat. Rather than eating two or three rather large meals a day, you should be eating often, small meals, well-balanced meals, meals that are approximately the same amount of calories at each serving. The best way to treat high blood sugar is to never allow it to occur, meaning that low glycemic meals are the way to go. Low glycemic meals are just naturally good meals, period. A well-balanced meal for someone who's fit is the same as a well-balanced meal for a diabetic. As you begin your dietary and exercise changes, you'll notice some vast improvements. Some of these may not be what you expect. Your condition of DPN may actually feel like it's worsening briefly as the nerves repair themselves. But if your body is given the nutrition it needs, and the exercise maintenance of your body is maintained, you'll actually notice some enormous changes to your body, your condition, as well as the painful complication of diabetic peripheral neuropathy. We will include some links to diabetic organizations so that you'll have some resources at your disposal. Again, you'll be shooting to eat several small meals a day and several well-balanced snacks. Eating well and throughout the day will reduce your desire to eat more, and eating more will only increase your blood sugar levels. Eating high glycemic foods can sharply increase your blood sugar level immediately, even radically, and dangerously. So visit your doctor, create yourself an exercise program and a dietary schedule that you stick to. It's best to also eat meals at the same time each day. That way your body will actually adjust to the new changes and your blood sugar will never spike. Since the insulin in your body is used to digest carbohydrates, you'll be looking to reduce all the refined carbohydrates, looking only for complex carbohydrates like whole grains. There are also some very simple snack foods that you can bring around with you that actually promote good nerve health. Pistachios are very high in B vitamins that help keep your nerves in good working order and prevent damage. Peanuts are also good. They're also rather affordable. And having to shell them creates a little bit for you to do. It's not really valuable in terms of the exercise, but it keeps you doing something and keeps your focus on your new diet. You'll also want to reduce or eliminate alcohol use. In addition, if you do smoke cigarettes, quit at once. Smoking constricts blood vessels and causes an enormous amount of other problems that you don't need. If you believe you might have diabetes mellitus, Talk to your doctor first. Do not try self-cures when you're unable to diagnose yourself. To recap, step one, visit your doctor for a diagnosis and care and treatment options. Step two, exercise within your doctor's recommendation. Three, change your dietary habits. Your doctor can provide some ways for you to adjust gradually and get your blood sugar under control. And four, do not procrastinate. Once severe damage has occurred to your nerves, it may be irreversible. The faster you start, the faster you'll see results. Do not be discouraged. Follow through completely.